we've been, we've been working on a palette for the hay hut. Uh, we were just going to get some regular pallets, but then we decided we were going to custom build one to fit the entire bottom of the hay hut so we wouldn't have as much uh, hay loss or waste. And uh, he and I both got off work yesterday morning after being on night shift for a while, so there's been some fireworks. Uh, been a little rough today, but we've managed to work through it. Neither one of us can do math, so it's been pretty, pretty complicated. This thing's been whipping tail all day, but we finally got it, finishing up. We've been, uh, we went and got some ground contact uh, 4x4s and 2x6s. There is a difference between ground contact and pressure treated. I didn't know that. Learned something new today. So we got that and uh, got everything squared up, put us a couple runners on the bottom, two by six it on the top, and uh, I'll show you what we've been using. So to put this thing together, we've been using number nine three inch screws and number 10 three inch screws. We just got these today. These we had left over, so we finally got that all used up. Also been using some nails, and uh, those were originally designed for a nail gun. We don't have a nail gun, so we're just picking them apart and using them. And the reason why we want, we wanted to use nails too is because they'll bend, not shear, so they're a little bit more durable for this application. But of course, nail ser uh, screws serve, serve their purpose too. So we're just trying to use both, trying to make it heavy duty. Hopefully it'll last. And uh, hopefully the horses won't tear it up anytime soon. Okay, so we got two by six runners under there. We put four under the bottom. Then we got our four by four posts. We did everything crowned up. So make sure to check for that before getting everything assembled. Just crown everything up, lay it out the way you want it, get everything marked. And then we ran chalk lines down. So we used two screws, two nails for every end. And then we did, um, one screw and we're going to do two nails for every board in the center and that looks like overkill but a horse can tear up anything so we plan on not having to lay hands on this thing again we want it to last and just be done with it and hopefully we can put tons and tons of hay across it and not have any problems and it is heavy it is extremely heavy but hopefully it'll be heavy duty too so we're fixing to take this over to the barn get it in the hay hut, get some hay on it, and see how it works. the hay hut fixing to turn the horses loose I'm gonna grab Cody here if you've never met Cody he's completely blind so we're gonna let him get introduced to it first he uh, normally only has to see something once and then he'll figure the rest out he remembers stuff really well pretty intuitive guy so let's see how he does
stop sticking their head in here. All right. Okay, so we're doing the follow-up on the hay hut, as promised. We've had hay out here for five days. We've had three horses eating in it. Um, they've rummaged through the hay pretty good, always looking for that better hay on the inside. And I know if this had been in a hay ring, every day I would have had to throw flakes of hay back in. But I'll show you what's around the outside, let you be the judge, see if it was worth it or not. I'm thinking so. I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I'll let you take a look for yourself. From what I can tell, the little bit of hay on the ground is not even enough worrying over picking up. I know if this had been in a hay ring, they'd slide it all over the place, exposing hay at the bottoms. Uh, it's just getting pulled out. They're trampling in it. They're not going to eat it after they trample in it. And especially after we built that humongous pallet and put it in there, number one, they can't move the hay hut. More than likely not. Number two, 99% of that hay is sitting on the pallet, not making it to the ground. So I think this is a pretty decent setup. I'm pleased with it. And uh, we'll let you know if anything crazy happens with it. But right now I'm saying it's worth the investment. A little bit. I right, hold right there. This is when you know you done had a successful hay season. You see this right here? All that time, effort, money, hard work, the whole nine yards, this is what it ends up being right here. All the money you put into your hay, all the herbicides, all the pesticides, all the fertilizer, the equipment it takes, everything, hundreds of thousands of dollars, an endless amount of time, this is what you end up with right here. That's when you know you're successful. 